I feel inspired. Hey, what's up? So I got a really quick break before I finish out this work day. Essentially what we're gonna be going over today is designing out this system that I never really built before. It's an email service system. So I built out notification systems before, and that's mainly for internal. Built out evaluation systems before, also e-commerce systems, and but never an email service system. I mean, the e-commerce systems, they send out like confirmation emails and stuff like that, but that's only for like a single user at a time, not for like bulk users that I plan on using. That's gonna be a little bit different and being able to handle that. Yeah, some of the features that I'm looking at for this system is a little landing page, looking at all pretty and nice, trying to make it pretty with the CSS that I despise so much. Also, it's gonna have a subscription page, a cancellation page, and then it's gonna be dealing with some payment gateway stuff. And it's gonna have a little back end that's gonna be storing user data and it's sending out bulk emails. I'm trying to figure out how I can like satisfy these features. One of the things I also wanna keep low is like the very minimal startup costs. Essentially, I'm trying to make it zero. Ideally a serverless infrastructure because I don't wanna upkeep any servers and pay for like a upfront server costs. And yeah, that's essentially it. So I'm gonna finish out this work day real quick. So enjoy this. All right. So the first thing we're going to look into is the front end. So with this particular um, application, I plan on using Angular. So that's something I've been currently using for like the last couple of months. And then, you know, I don't really like CSS, so I'm gonna be doing using Bootstrap for the heavy lifting of the layout. Because I don't know anything about building components or making them stylish, I'm gonna use Angular Material as the component library. Let's get into it. You seen that? You seen how he's trying to try me? <laughs> Jeez. All right, so the next part of this is the back end. We already know you can't have a front end without the back end if you're trying to get some data, have some stuff in the process. First thing off, we're gonna start off with building the database. So what database solution are we gonna be going with? So I was going in between AWS and Google Cloud Platform, but essentially I went with the one that I've been using the most lately, and that's with Firestore. So pretty much Firestore is a non-SQL database, and so I'm just gonna be using that for just handling and storing data. Since I went with a Firebase backend solution, I, I might as well just use like Firebase Cloud Functions. At first I was gonna be doing like Lambda and all this other stuff with AWS. I actually wanna start using this Cloud Function type stuff and see how it works. Might as well just keep everything together. The Cloud Functions are gonna be dealing with the scheduling of the jobs. The scheduling of the jobs are gonna be sending out bulk emails uh, every single month. Because like I didn't see nothing right off the back with Firebase sending emails, I think they have something called Cloud Messaging. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna fit the needs that I needed to fit. This time I actually went with AWS SES and essentially what that is is like email service and it's fairly easily you can like implement it in like your servers yeah you can call your AWS um, SE API and send out these bulk emails another thing with the cloud functions handling payments so as the user you know submits their subscriptions and all that other stuff I decided that you know cloud functions is going to be using that instead of like actually storing data in card information or payment information on my servers I just essentially let Stripe handle that so I'll use Stripe as the payment gateway to charge transactions and all that other stuff. I'm also thinking about using PayPal for those situations where people want to use PayPal instead of using put input in their card information. Still thinking about that, integrating that. Maybe I will. We shall see. Ready to go inside? Your sister's waiting. 
by him in game two. Tyler Hero with the fake, sidestep. Alright, so going back to us, we know we're healing with Firebase for the back end for this, so we're going to make sure we can have the front end communicate with the back end. So I've already been using this package already, and it's called Angler Fire. I really think this makes it super like easy to implement this stuff. I just use this package, communicate with the Fire Store and also the Cloud Functions. Anthony Davis! Whoa. Right, he was going in on this game. That's crazy. Anthony Davis was hot like after the second second half, man. He was so hot. Right, that, that was just so smooth. He just like came in the middle and just laid it in. Right, he was on fire. This dude was on fire. Gosh, can't stop him. I already know the Lakers are gonna win this. You got LeBron James and you got, you know, Anthony Davis. He's on fire. Uh, he, he's just a beast, man. It's like he catches his own rebounds and, you know, make the point off of that. So, come on now. Who was E.E.? -E? E.E.? -E? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Let's go E.E. -E. Hey, get back. Sit. Go. Hey, right, we're back. Sit. Go. Well, that's all I have for today. It's just me designing out the system. So I'm gonna get started building on this stuff and see if it works. If it doesn't work, then. Stand back and stand by, boys.